to Senator Rubens. What are your thoughts on a flat income tax across the board? It's one of our uh, one of my five point programs to fix our economy. They're structural things. I'll just go through them extremely quickly. We're overregulated, vastly overregulated. Uh, our energy costs are too high. Our currency is at risk. Our health care costs are too high, and Obamacare makes them go even higher. And we need to fix our tax code. Our tax code is a is a thicket of complexity. It is forcing. It is forcing, you, you see in, in, in the newspaper over the past few months, you see companies moving to Europe <coughs> to escape our high tax rate. We have got to reform our corporate tax code and our, our personal tax code. We need a simpler, fairer, flatter tax code so that individuals can fill out their own tax forms and so that companies are incentivized to build things. We've got to make things in America again. And our tax code is one of the ways we can do that. One of the things we can do when we reform our tax code, it's one of my bold ideas, let's bring, let's repatriate is the term of art. There's $2.1 trillion of um, domestically domiciled companies that earn money overseas. That money is trapped overseas by our book 35% corporate tax rate. Let's reform that so that that $2.1 trillion private sector stimulus comes back to our country. We experimented with this in 1986. It worked. We can bring three quarters of that money back within two years by reforming our tax code. Private sector, 2.1 stimulus, build new factories, more jobs, more dividends paid in your retirement accounts. This is the kind of reform that will stimulate our economy. So <coughs> absolutely simpler, fairer, flatter tax code. Save people the hassle of this complexity. Get the lobbyists out of Washington. Put the power back in the hands of businesses to work on their customers, satisfying their customers, and, uh, and I don't really see any disagreement here. I agree with Jim completely. I, I, I would just add a couple of points, which I'm sure you would agree with as well. Uh, President Obama has said that he wants to hunt these people down like dogs that yeah. taking this money and, uh, and taking it offshore to try to make a living so they wouldn't be regulated to death, this two and a half trillion or whatever it is. I said, hey, give them some, give them tax amnesty, bring them back in corporate, put it into the job, job uh, growth and promotion, and bring them back, bring it on back. Apple and some of these companies that have done this, show them we care, show them we want to deregulate, show them we want to give them the opportunity to produce more. So, and the only danger of that, I, I support a flat tax or any simplification of the tax code. It's so complicated. The thing you have to be careful of with it, though, once you start, and if we, whether say if Rubens or myself put in a bill. Uh, to uh, to have a flat tax, then everybody's going to be looking for exemptions. Well, let's take out, what are we gonna, where's the cut off on food? Poor people have to eat, they have to buy food, everybody has to buy food, everybody has to buy clothes. What about the mortgage exemption? So it's, it's going to be a tough sell to get people to understand that to simplify the tax code is going to be a big change in how we do business. You know, if you don't take the money out of your pocket in the first place, you don't need an exemption. I mean, hello? I mean, don't take my money. I like when people say, I'm getting $1,000 back for my income tax. Well, they got your money. Of course you're going to get it. I hope you get it back. I mean, come on. This is the mindset that we have to deal with. So I think we, you know, I think it'll be fun if we get a chance to uh, to talk about this. One of us or whoever gets a chance to talk about this Ben Shaheen because I don't think she agrees with us. Crook TV.